After 18 months of planning, the largest elevated concrete pour in Canadian history is finally underway. Enough concrete is being poured here today to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This is all happening on the 30th floor of the Stantec Tower or the amenities floor for Sky Residences. Ice District continues to reach new heights and milestones. That's it, today's the first day of Sky Residences. So we're on the 125th meter of the building right now, which is just a hair under halfway up the tower. The tower is going to top out at 251 meters, making it the seventh tallest structure in the country of Canada. Nearly 2,300 cubic meters or 12 million pounds of concrete flowed down six feet of rebar on the first bitterly cold day of fall. Our concrete pour today is going to be just under 30 hours. There's been several hundred uh, men and women up here working on this slab over the last three months. This pour wasn't as simple as it looks. Unlike the JW Marriott, which is one seamless tower with two purposes, when complete, the Stantag Tower will essentially be one building with two towers stacked on top of each other, which means the blueprints change during the pour. So the concrete will actually be poured up to my feet, and this year is the start of the columns for Sky Residences. To support the weight of the pour, 3.6 million pounds of structural reinforcing steel was set up, some of it temporary. And during the pour, we're watching this go down and should sink about an inch and a half during the pour doing the, due to the weight. One story below on floor 29 is the mechanical room. There you'll find hundreds of these yellow shoring posts. These transfer the load from floor 30 all the way back down to the foundation. They basically deal with the interconnecting forces between the buildings. So down to the planning that was involved, the cranes that are used on the building were designed because of these trusses. The lower levels of the office tower are already complete and are ready for the final finishings, getting ready for Stantec employees to move in October 2018. We have mock-ups of what the offices are going to look like. People get to pick their own desk type. So we're already talking about all the opportunities to get here through transit, through the bike lanes and things, so it's just a, a really exciting thing. After the parkade was built up to grade, the office tower was constructed in only 13 months. Sky residences are now officially being built, and at that pace, residents could start to move in as early as spring 2019. For all the latest news and events, follow us on social media and visit our website. Don't forget to get tickets to the many exciting events and concerts coming to Rogers Place. Reporting on the roof of the Stantec Tower in Ice District, I'm Jessica Kent. Thanks for watching.